and welcome back to our children's virtual program, Book Tasting, where I read the first few pages of books in the children's collection. So last week we read book one of the Dork Diary series, and this week we are on book two. So if you've already read book one in the Dork Diary series, um, you've read about how our main character, Nikki, is starting a new school and she really wants a new phone, but her mom is saying no. But what do you guys think? Do you think um, our character is in middle school, do you think a middle schooler deserves a phone or do you think they should wait? So book two is called Tales from a Not So Popular Party Girl. Recipes for disaster. Four parties, add two friends, one crush, divide by one mean girl out to ruin Nikki, mix well, put fingers over eyes, and cringe. As always, I will be reading the first few pages. I can't believe this is happening to me. I'm in the girls' bathroom freaking out. There's no way I'm going to survive middle school. I've just made a complete fool of myself in front of my secret crush again. And if that wasn't bad enough, I'm still stuck with the locker right next to Mackenzie, who, by the way, is the most popular girl at Westchester Country Day Middle School and a total snob. Calling her a mean girl is an understatement. She's a killer shark and sparkly nail polish, designer jeans, and platform sketchers. But for some reason, everyone adores her. Mackenzie and I do not get along. I'm guessing it's probably due to the fact that she hates my guts. She is forever gossiping behind my back and saying super mean stuff like that I have no fashion sense whatsoever, and that her school mascot, Gary the Lizard, wears cuter clothes than I do which might actually be true, but still, I do not appreciate that girl blabbing about my personal business. This morning, she was even more vicious than usual. I cannot believe what she had said to me. I mean, how can a color clash with a flavor? Duh. They're like two totally different things. That's when I lost it and yelled, sorry, Mackenzie, but I am really busy right now. Can I ignore you some other time? But I just said it inside my head so no one else heard me. And, and if all of that wasn't enough torture, the annual WCD Halloween dance is in three weeks. It's the biggest event of the fall and everyone is already gossiping about who's going with who. i just totally die if my secret crush Brandon asked me to go. Yesterday he actually asked me to his lab, yesterday he actually asked me to be his lab partner for biology class. I was so excited I did my Snoopy happy dance. And today I had a sneaky suspicion Brandon was going to pop the question about the Halloween dance. The school day seemed to drag on forever. By the time I got to biology class, I was a nervous wreck. Suddenly a very troubling question popped into my head and I started to panic. What if Brandon only thought of me as a lab partner and nothing more? That's when I decided to try to impress him with my charm, wit, and intelligence. I gave him a big smile and went right to work drawing all these teeny tiny looking thingies I saw under the microscope. Out of the corner of my eye, I could see Brandon staring at me with this urgent yet perplexed look on his face. It was obvious he wanted to talk to me about something super serious. Those thingies in the microscope really were just lint. OMG, I'm so embarrassed. I knew it right then and there that I had pretty much blown any chance of Brandon asking me to the dance. I was very disappointed, but not the least bit surprised. I mean, why would Brandon ask a total dork like me when he could go with a CCP, cool, cute, and popular girl like Mackenzie? And get this, as they were leaving, Mackenzie giggled and said she was buying a new lip gloss. I was so frustrated and angry at myself. I waited until the bathroom was empty and then I had a really good scream which for some strange reason always makes me feel a lot better. Middle school can be very traumatizing, that's for sure. The most important thing to remember is this, always remain calm and try to handle your personal problems in a personal problems in a private and mature manner. All righty, so I am ending it there. If you are interested in book two of the Dork Diary series, it is available inside the children's collection. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next week for a new book.